Okay, good afternoon everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Arm of the Sock Swish and I tried to do a Skype with Galahad and it failed. It failed miserably. <laughs> I think I have to uninstall it and reinstall it and Kathy's unfortunately unavailable so here I am. So what I'm going to do is Galahad's going to talk in the room and we will... Let's first go over Lula. Let's do this first. I Did you see this before I emailed you? The Lulu is this happening live? It's gapping down at 6:46. Just wondered if you looked at it before I sent you the email. Yes, very nice. Okay, what did I say this afternoon in the trends class? Go. What did I say? And I'm just going to read Galahad's words because we're having a problem with the microphone, and Kathy will have to help us later. And her father died unfortunately, so she's gone for a few days until next week. You did see it, and what? Did you rate it yet? I didn't rate it, but what did I say in the trends class? I said it will most likely drop. I said in an ideal world, Lulu drops and drops big time, breaking the area which it's doing, and what? So you didn't rate it yet. Well, let's just go back and look here. So when Lula closed today, and I'm just going back for the people, 66.30. Wow, this is insanity. The stock has dropped more than $10, almost 12 from the close. Do you like this as a short Galahad, yes or no? Do you have 100% conviction, yes or no? Go. All right, you have an answer, you don't have time. The trade setting up, yes, okay. So based on this, your approximate target for Lulu would be, gosh, man, this is, it's so early too. I mean, by 9.30, by the market open, this could be anywhere, anywhere at all. I think it breaks 54 before the open. It could be 54, 53, 52, so, I mean, it's hard to say. What do you think the realistic target is on Lulu if this gap opened tomorrow around here? What? What do you think? Man, this is good. I said it. I said it. I said it. I should have done an option call on this beforehand. I should have done a put, but I just don't want to do that anymore. I really felt like it would gap down. Gosh darn it. What do, you, what do you think this would, what's the target here? If it opens tomorrow morning at 54.60, what? Finally a good one. It's been such a slow week. Two weeks, actually. Galahad's ready in the room, his target. We'll see if he's right. Put my arrow on the screen. Here's the gap, but I think it collapses more, 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 more before the open, but in an ideal world, let's just say the stock would open here, where do you think it's gonna go? Realistic target, dream target, go. And I didn't rate this yet, I mean, I'm too tired, but I, it's gonna work, so. Unless something ridiculous happens tomorrow morning. Here. Here. 50, 52? 44? <laughs> oh, my Atlanta. I, you learned nothing from being here for the last month. I, 44? <laughs> this is 44? What? This is not going to... <laughs> Hold on. Reverse. Rewind. This gap back here when the stock was 7270 high, 6872. This this stock is not gonna be, I you're gonna make me laugh too bad. I'm not gonna be able to concentrate. This stock is not going to 44 by tomorrow. I just don't <laughs> I just didn't say that. This this is not gonna drop ten dollars on the day. If it does, I'm gonna risk one million dollars, but that's not gonna happen, so no one should do that. I wanna read this. I'm not going to be able to think straight. 
what is a realistic target in Lulu? I had it. I had it right here. 52. Look at my chart. You don't need your chart. Look at mine. It's at 5470. The stock isn't going to go to 44 between now and 930 or between now and tomorrow at the end of the business at 4 o'clock or between now and Friday. It's not going to drop $10. Okay, 52. Realistic. Go ahead, write what you want. I did say that I thought this was good in the in, in, in the trends class. Gosh, I should tape everything I say. I didn't even tape it. The people that were in that class, a wonderful the, the people that were in the trends class this afternoon will have 150% conviction of Lulu to short it tomorrow because what did I say? I said that's what I thought, and I even gave the numbers what I wanted to do, and it did it. So you have it a preset. You say, if this does this, then it's good to do, whether it's short or long, and it did it. And I gave the numbers if it rallied up and gapped up, but it, it, it didn't. So, What's nuts? The train? It's nuts to think it's going to go to 44, but I think we're going to get a really good move in this tomorrow. So what are you going to risk in this tomorrow, Galahad? Before we go over your option trade, what? Go. Write it in the room. What are you going to rank that you're going to risk in this bearish gap tomorrow morning if it rates more than 20 points, which we don't know because it's too soon. It's not even 930. If it holds and it opens here, what? 500 bucks. So if it goes to 52... You should make between $1,000 and $1,500, which would be good because it's been a slow week. All right, good night, everyone. Have a great night. Look at Lulu tomorrow. Galahad is in a frantic, frantic panic because he thinks Lulu is going to 44. And maybe I will call that as an option trade. I don't know. We'll have to see how it acts tomorrow. I'll play it on through, and we'll see how it ends up being. But Lulu is definitely lower, and I did predict this today in the trends class, and the people that did the trends class didn't know what the gap would do, and neither did I. But, you know, it's just amazing how I can see kind of what this is going to do. And this stock has collapsed. So it closed today at 66.30. And right now, tonight, it's not 7 o'clock. It's at 54.60 something. And it doesn't look good for Lulu. And I love Lulu. I really love the Lulu store. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com for more information.